In this video, I will be explaining what happens to molecules in a gas when they are heated. And to do that, I'll be using this multimedia resource. So to find what I'm looking for, I need to scroll down until I find the icon labeled heating molecules of a gas. I click on that and then scroll back up. Now I can see the information that I need about heating molecules of a gas. Notice it says, the molecules of a gas have very little attraction for one another and so barely interact with each other. We've learned this already today. When the molecules of a gas are heated, they move faster. The faster moving molecules inside the balloon push against the material the balloon is made out of. This push from the inside air overcomes the inward pull of the balloon, making the balloon get bigger. Okay, so I'm going to be thinking about molecules of a gas. I learned that when they are heated, they move faster. I can infer that if they are cooled, they will move slower. I also know that faster moving molecules will have more energy. If they have more energy and they're moving faster, it makes sense that if they are contained inside of a balloon, they would press on the edges of the balloon as they are moving around frantically and randomly. So let's take a look at that. If I hit the play, I can see, full screen here, that there is a balloon filled with air. In this balloon, I have a zoom in. So if I had really powerful microscope eyes, I would be able to see that there are molecules in the air that are moving all around. They have little attraction to each other. Notice none of them are trying to come together. When they do collide, they simply change direction and continue moving on in a random path. Now I can use this toggle bar down below and heat up the balloon, or rather heat up the air in the balloon. Notice as I begin to heat the molecules, they are now moving faster. They continue to heat this up. Notice they are moving faster and faster. If I get all the way up, these air molecules are moving really fast. Now let's take a look at what happens then to the side of the balloon. So as I move this toggle switch and make it colder, not only do the molecules slow down, but notice the size of the balloon decreases. This has to do with pressure. Slower moving molecules are going to exert less pressure on the sides of the balloon. And so therefore, the balloon is filled with the air. However, the air does not have a lot of pressure that is pressing out from inside and making the balloon larger. But when I add heat to these molecules, I am also adding energy, and I am also increasing the speed of the molecules, which will therefore result in a greater pressure. So notice, going faster, look at the size of the balloon. It's getting larger and larger and larger. So the other day, my daughter had a balloon filled with air, and she put it over our heating vent, and it popped. And she was very sad. She cried and cried. And I thought, what a great opportunity to talk about science. So what is it exactly that made that balloon pop? Did the rubber of the balloon melt and pop? No. How could you explain why, when the balloon was heated directly over a heating vent, the balloon popped? What do you think, scientists?